Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video I want to talk to you how you can make your photo from boring to amazing using Lightroom brushes. Not Lightroom preset, Lightroom brush presets. All right, so what is Lightroom brush preset? Well, it's just a way to use presets on local adjustment and if you stay until then, you'll see the power of local adjustment. Local adjustment is the one thing that's gonna make your photos from kind of okay to amazing. It is my secret, so stay until the end. Also, by the way, don't forget to like this video and comment. I read every single comment and subscribe to this channel if you did not get a chance to subscribe by smashing the subscribe button and the little bell. All right, so how to install the preset? I'm gonna give you some for free and I'm gonna give you a professional package that you can purchase. Links right below the video. So let's say you bought the professional package. This is what it looks like. You're gonna get the Lightroom brush preset, dodge and burn, landscapes, lights, and portrait essential. Now, how to install them? Well, very simple. You go to your Lightroom, you go to Lightroom preference, and you go here and you click on show other Lightroom preset. Now, if you have an older version of Lightroom, this works too. It's gonna say something like show Lightroom develop preset. So you click on that, show other Lightroom preset, and what you need to look for is the famous local adjustment preset. If it was a regular Lightroom preset, it would go to the develop preset folder, which is here. Do not put it here. Put it in a local adjustment preset because these brushes, it's brushes, it's gradient, it's circles, are local adjustments. So here is a little package. What you have to do is make sure you unzip the different folders. And for example, you take Lightroom preset dodge and burn, photo search dodge and burn. That is the folder, because not this folder, but that folder you just command C and you paste it here. And you do that for every single folder. So you got photo search dodge and burn, photo search landscape, photo search light, and photo search portrait essential. Okay, and then you restart Lightroom and you are good to go. So let me show you how this works. So I've got this photo that I shot in Tuscany and you know, my regular workflow is to open the shadows, bring on the highlights, uh, you know, I do a black point, I do a white point, I change my white balance maybe a little bit and that's just the basic exposure. Now the power of retouching comes from the local adjustment tools and there are three in Lightroom. So the first one I always use is the gradient. So I'm gonna click and dry and make a gradient. But check this out. If you click here on custom, you have now a whole bunch of custom preset. You've got the Burge and Dodge, Light, Portrait and Landscape. So let's go for example to Landscape and take Sky Warm. That's okay and look what it does. It does a whole bunch of things. Or you can go also to like Surge, uh, Burn, Darken, uh, Strong. Okay, that's too much. Or you can go to Sky Drama, for example. Ooh, I love Sky Drama. I'm gonna make another Sky Drama here. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. So now let's let, let me show before these two adjustments. One, two. That's before and after. You see how it makes the sky really come out. I'm actually gonna drag it a little lower. Okay, now let's say I can go here. I can make a circle on the church, and I can go to the um, Surge Burn Lighten Slight or structure. Structure, that's too strong, so let's go to slight. It's a, just a little bit of an adjustment, but I kind of like that. It just helps to focus the attention on the photo. So let me show you the before and after. That's the before, and that's the after. Let me show you another example that I think is crazy. So same thing, this is a photo I shot in the Louvre in Paris. I'm going to do the classic, you know, bring on the highlights, you know, do the blacks. I'm going to do the minus clarity on it maybe add a little bit of magenta, and then I'm gonna recrop this photo, so I'm gonna go here. That's just the basic adjustment, but the real power comes from local adjustment, and I'm gonna crop this photo. This one did really well on Instagram, so four by five. I'm gonna recrop it Instagram format. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, let me make this a little bit better so that it's kind of equal on both sides. Yeah, that's better. Now, let's add some contrast. I wanna turn these lights on, so I'm gonna take a brush, and I'm going to go to the Surge Light Street Lights. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna brush here, and you can boost the exposure if you want a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna brush there. Okay, so I turn on this light, but if the lights were really turned on, we would have some kind of reflection, so I'm gonna click on New Brush, and this time I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take Light Rays or Intensified Light, for example. And then I'm gonna make a big brush here, and a bit like, I'm gonna brush here, 
Okay, this one doesn't do really well, so I'm gonna do light rays. I think, yeah, light rays is the one. Yeah, light rays is the one to go. And I'm just gonna make some lights here and here, and I'm gonna turn on this light. Okay, that's kind of cool. Check this out. So without the brushes, with the brushes. Okay, I'm gonna make a circle here over the over the sky, and I'm gonna go now to uh, again, for example, something like sky drama. Okay, sky drama is not. Oh, I was on light, and you have to go sky drama darken sky drama darken okay that's too much so you just got to try sky surge let's see sky surge that's crazy uh slight maybe just darken a little bit yeah that's the way to go and that kind of really works well and then i maybe you know actually let me make this a little bit bigger so what you can do is you can make this way bigger okay and then you can use the uh you can i can even add some magenta if i want in that sky and then i can go here and i can use the range mask of luminance and then just do like this all right and then let's see the before so i'm going to reset this that's the before and that's the after it's pretty crazy now everything is on destructive i find it's too dark so you can always go here make it a bit brighter you know maybe take out some of the magenta but i still love it okay let me reset it command z and command z to put it back it's pretty cool and there's also a lot of brush for portrait this is a uh, portrait of me uh, for example, I have a really bad skin, so I'm just gonna open the shadows, bring down the highlights, do the white, the blacks. I'm gonna click here on my shirt to get the white balance, correct. And then uh, let's do some retouching. First, let's take a circle. I'm gonna make a big circle around me, and I'm gonna go to uh, Burn Strong, for example. And make sure I invert, I don't invert this because I want this to be around this, okay, perfect. Now let's take care of the skin, I'm gonna click here. And I'm gonna go to um, search portrait, soft skin. And I'm just gonna make my skin a lot softer. I got a really bad skin and that, and that's just gonna help. You know, it's kind of subtle, but it just helps to make the skin glow a little more. Okay, let me show you the before and after. You might not see the difference, but check this out. Before, look at my skin, after. And you can do different paths. I can do new and make another pass of this soft skin and it's gonna add up on top of each other. You don't wanna make it too much. And of course, you know, you don't get as great result as if you would use Photoshop, but it's still pretty cool. Check it out before, look at this, after. Okay, now I wanna make my eyes pop. So I can, I'm gonna go click new and I'm gonna go, for example, in portrait, had air contrast. I'm gonna add some contrast on, on my hairs here. I'm gonna add some contrast on my eyes brown. I'm gonna create a new brush and I'm gonna go this time to um, the eyes or on hands details, for example. And I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna put more details on my eyes here like this. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here, zoom in there. Okay, click a new brush. I mean, you get it, it just, and then I'm gonna take, for example, the um, under eyes. The under eye, for example, helps make what's under the eyes a little bit better. Okay, a little bit brighter. Okay, new brush. I'm gonna make a new brush this time. I'm gonna call it eyes. And I'm gonna go over the eyes here and over the eyes there. Now look at this. It might not seem a lot, but check this out. Okay, so that's the before. And that's the after with all what we did. We have an amazing offer on the professional version. You can click the link there too. All right, a couple of weeks ago, I did an amazing video on the five biggest mistakes not to do in Lightroom. Check it out.